Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.4.1 Developer Beta 3. This is available to developers and soon to public beta testers depending on what time you're watching this. It may either be this evening as of the time of this recording. I'm not aware that it's out, but it could be by the time you're watching this. Now this came in at 179.2 megabytes. Let's take a look at the build number. The build is 15G5072A, and that just lets us know what version we're actually on. Now, this particular version doesn't say anything new in the notes. There's nothing new as far as features. That will come with iOS 12 and their betas, and we'll talk more about when that will be out in just a moment. But this particular version seems fast so far. Opening apps, 3D touching, uh, things like the app store everything seems to be nice and fast no slowdowns whatsoever so apple just keeps refining this although i wouldn't say it's as quick as ios 12 there's something different going on there i'm not sure specifically what that is but things are nice and fast either way now as far as when the final version of this will be out to the public it really seems ready at this point so it could be later this week Probably not, probably in a few weeks, somewhere in July. And then iOS 12 beta 2 will either be out tomorrow or the 25th along with the public beta. So at this point, it's hard to say, but based on iOS 11, it will be out the 25th with the public beta. Based on what we think right now, it might be tomorrow on the 19th. No one knows 100% except for Apple and when they're ready to release that. However, I did do a Geekbench on this particular version just to show you how it compares to the previous ones. Let's take a look at that. You'll see it came in at 4,230 for single core, 10,379 for multi-core. If we take a look at the history of what it was like before, you'll see it's right about the same, a little bit faster on the multi-core than the previous time. Right now we're just a little bit faster and a little bit slower on the single core by two. So really nothing exciting to see here and everything's working okay. However, there still is that bug. If you go to notifications, go down to FaceTime, turn that on, show as banners, turn it back off, it will crash. This is fixed in iOS 12 though, so maybe they're just not going to fix it and let it come out in September with iOS 12 when we see the final release of that. There's nothing new other than that. It'll come out with security and bug fixes and that's it. So let me know if you've found anything else, any of your bugs, let me know on Twitter if you haven't followed me there or let me know through Facebook as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.